Y'all know what it is. It's 901. Let's talk about it. Love and marriage, Huntsville. Everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. Once again, everything on this channel is alleged, in my opinion, and it's for entertainment purposes only. So listen, 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 listen. So as you guys know, Kiki Jabbar was invited to Tiffany's baby um, reveal party. But Kiki was sick and could not attend, right? And we all know why she was sick because she went to the hospital twice in one week, as we learned in the season premiere. So hopefully Kiki um, will feel better. Um, so she, so Kiki says that she has two specialists: a cardiologist for her heart and a gastroenterologist for her stomach, um, because there's something going on with her digestive system. Um, and so Kiki is on uh, methadone. And, you know, Kiki's husband is, you know, saying, I, I don't like you on the methadone. I think that may have something to do with it. And Kiki is like, well, you don't know that. And so, you know, to Kiki's husband's point, you know, drugs do have a effect and impact on the human body. I think we all know this. So, you know, you may be doing everything you can, but maybe there might be something clashing with the methadone. So I don't think he was trying to dismiss the fact that you needed it. I think because your husband knows your past, I think he was just trying to help you not go back to your past. Um, and so speaking of Kiki's husband, he says you can't eat food like Chinese food. You almost order, order the whole restaurant and do it late at night, 10 o'clock at night. You can't um, do that. And so, listen, I think when you have a partner, right, you know their ups, their downs, their ins, their outs, they're around the way and <laughs> the, how they are around the way and down the street, right? And so I think what ends up happening is, you know, your history as who you are as a person and your partner's history of who you are as a person with them sometimes conflicts, right? You, you, when you get married, you are, you're two people coming together as one, right? So I think what ended up happening was he just thought in husband protective mode of, let me let her know that I sincerely am here, but I genuinely believe there's some behavior that you're doing that is not really helping. And Kiki said that there are two different definitions of support. And so Kiki said that she felt that he, that her husband was berating her before hearing her out. And she was saying that you feel like this is all my fault. And you know, he said, you know, if I'm jumping to conclusions, I am sorry, but it is human nature. And I think he just really wants to be protective. And, you know, that's basically, um, you know, the end of the clip. It wasn't really too much, but it was a lot. And so, you know, I think my opinion comes from just how at the end of the day, I remember when I had the vid, um, you know, I was out of it for a good minute. Like, I want to head back to work, right? Because at the end of the day, if you have an old school work ethic, if you are about being productive and if you are about being on your grind, you definitely don't like anything conflicting with that. <laughs> because at the end of the day, if it conflicts with your grind, it conflicts with your bag. If it conflicts with your bag, it conflicts with your life. And so I totally, you know, get it. You know, I mean, that Kiki doesn't really want this to be happening, but also feel her husband of you have to do what you need to do, right? And so sometimes our family and friends will protect us um, in a way that may not be conducive even though we may see it as, you know, um, even though we may see it as, you know, doing the most, they're just trying to be supportive. Whereas I say about my family, you know, they're not, my family's not in the ring to fight against me. They're in the ring to help fight with me in the ring, right? So whatever the opponent is, whether it is, you know, um, 
my finances, whether it is my mental health, whether it's about relationships, whether it's about people bullying, being petty and not being responsible um, for what they do, um, or people being upset for no reason at all, forget the totality of who that person is as an individual, whatever the case is, right? Um, my family's in the ring to fight with me, not against me. I think we get lost in the sauce with that a lot of times because it's like, you don't understand my fight because you're not me, but also too, people can only understand the fight that you're in based on how much information you give them. So, you know, to all the strong people out there, I think the reason why our strength is weakening or weakened over a period of time is because we don't we don't tell um, that we're weak, right? And I think the strongest people know when they are the weakest, when they do need to reach out for help. Um, I just got done talking to a um, good friend of mine that I'm on, that I'm on a very big project with. So so proud of her um, for the project. I will tell you guys about in due time because it's such an amazing project. Um, but we just got done, and I was just saying to her with you know what we both have to do. It is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot, and sometimes. You know, we do take a lot of things on a little too much, but also, too, there's nothing wrong with recognizing how you feel. I think a lot of times in life, we feel like we just have to be go, 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 Really, Brand, was that necessary? You saw the thumbnail. You know why you're here, and you're staying here on your own accord, okay? So don't get mad at me. But y'all know exactly what I mean. And I think that this is based on generations, perspectives, but also the society we live in. You know, I think back then, you know, we had, you know, the villages and we had individuality, but we also wanted to see the best in each other. But now because of technology, how fast information can be put out and, you know, all these different um, people doing so many amazing things, we feel like, okay, we're not on their energy and we are self-reflecting ourselves into who they are a little too much. And, I think when you reflect yourself in other people, you forget your own reflection, right? And I was talking to a friend of mine about, you know, dating. And he said, you know, I don't think I'll ever date again. And I'm like, you know what? I know why you say that. And he was like, well, why do you think I say that, Brian? Because your life is basically like a car, right? And in the trunk of your car, in the trunk of your car, there's only so much room for different suitcases of your life. So you got your mom's suitcase, you got your dad's suitcase, you got your sister, you got your brother, you got your business, you got your friends. And sometimes when you are rearranging the trunk to go on your mental road trip of life, you have to rearrange that that trunk. So you do not want to go through the energy of rearranging the trunk to put in a suitcase that may not be worthy of you enough to put that suitcase in your trunk knowing that you're not going to use the suitcase and knowing that you're not going to enjoy the mental road trip of going um of going to the different destination of your life with a relationship that may or may not be productive for you and they were like damn that was actually deep i'm like i know that's why i said it hello hell to the low so i say all that to say this i think that with kiki jabbar because of everything that she's been through it is very difficult for her to open up the trunk and unpack some things from her trunk because it took so much effort and energy to put all that in the trunk <laughs> to go on the road that now that she is in a spot to stay still, she feels that maybe her husband's suitcase of care, concern, consideration may feel overwhelmed where she wants to pull that out. But she has to sit there, be still, and stay in it for a minute of, okay, if my husband is saying that I seem off to him, maybe there might be something behind that. And, 
Kiki said to her husband that you want me to do something just because you think it's not the right thing to do. And he said yes. And I can understand how that can be, you know, um, dismissive. But I think he wants you to do the right thing because he knows you the best. And I'm just going to be real with you. You would probably take advice more from your husband than from Braylon Lee. Because he's been with you through the ups and the downs, right? So, that's what I have to say on Kiki Jabbar. This has been another edition of Bradley's Virtual Tour Pit Stop. Um, you know, usually there would be more to the scene, but I felt like, okay, because that was it, I just need to give a little bit more context on this. But I hope you guys enjoyed the context. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye, yay, 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 bye, yay, 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 bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye,